the rising cost of defense led Britain in 1966 to cancel the carrier building program. I spent longer on that decision than on any other. I found it difficult because the Air Force case, they were the main anti-carrier service, was made by very able professional lawyers. And they had to make economies. Uh, and they made economies across the board. Uh, and they took a decision that carrier aviation was very expensive, uh, and therefore they would cut it. Dennis Healy's decision not to build those carriers um, was entirely right, because to build them would have been to perpetuate this post-war illusion that we were um, in the first league of great power. Don't forget that the defence policy of all powers is an extraordinary mixture of an attempt to protect interests and the desire of the services to protect their particular interests. Uh, by the time of the middle 60s, uh, the only likely scenario was uh, war with Russia. We were told that never again would we be engaged in a sort of limited colonial war, so we didn't provide for that. 15 years later, that was the very war we did get involved in. The Royal Navy flies helicopters and V-Stall Sea Harriers from three invincible class aircraft carriers similar to amphibious assault ships used by the US Marines. The invincible class ship with the V-Stall aircraft and the helicopters are certainly the next best thing, but they are not aircraft carriers as such. They can't bring the kind of multi-layered defenses and ability to strike deeply with supporting defense suppression and precision guided munitions and jammers and intelligence gathers, all the things that come with a large aircraft carrier. The key to Stovall, that is short takeoff and vertical landing, is that it allows us to deploy these aircraft at sea in, on small decks without all the complexity and expense that are associated with, for instance, uh, steam catapults and arrest gear in normal conventional fixed wing carriers. And perhaps uh, as important, is the ability of these aircraft to hover alongside the deck before committing themselves to a landing allow these ships and aircraft to operate in weather conditions which would stop conventional fixed wing flying in a normal carrier. The capability of future Stovall aircraft will be such that it will be a match for the new generation of agile fixed wing fighters. Um, undoubtedly the capability gap between Stovall and conventional aircraft will narrow as time progresses.